Hello, my name is Patrick Knoll and I'm an IBM Maximo Support Analyst. This is a short video on how to remove the More Help link from Maximo error messages and other ways to configure Maximo messages. You're all probably familiar if you're in an application and you enter an incorrect value. For example, here in the work type field, I'll enter an incorrect value. And once you tab out, you see the uh, red circle indicating an error. And if you click on it, you'll see the error messages. And for example, this one says work type HG is not a valid work type. And you may wonder where that comes from and can I change it? And also, you have this other link at the end that says more information. And if you click on it, what happens is it takes you to the IBM Knowledge Center but unfortunately, most of the time, there's nothing there additional to explain the error messages. So, how can we modify this message? And let's see where it comes from. I said it comes from the Maximo messages file. And to view those and to modify them, you need to go to System Configuration, Platform Configuration, Database Configuration. And once you're in the Database Configuration application, there is a link that will take you there. In the database configuration application, under the More Actions section, there's a link for Messages, which takes you to the Messages file records. And in here, for example, let's see the message that we were looking at before in the Work Order Tracking application. So if I enter the key or part of the key that the message showed, I can see that the message was from the work order group and the actual key was called not valid work type and the actual message ID. And so if we expand this, we can come down here and see the actual message that comes back and displays. And you can modify that, for example, or maybe we want to make it more detailed. So we can add some more text to it. And then if we save it, And if we go back to our application now, so if we go back to work order tracking and pull up a work order again, and once again, if we type in a wrong value and tab out, it comes up with the error indicator. And this time we'll see our addition the additional please look at the lookup values to see valid values that we added by modifying the, the message. Um, there's also still this more information and this more information is actually another error message. So most times people will, will actually like to get rid of that or lessen it as much as possible. In order to do that you have to go once again to your database configuration application and look at your messages. So once again, under Messages, if we filter for more help, we will find the generic message that is tacked on to the end that links to the maximal messaging system. And in here, it has a value of more information. If you want to lessen the likelihood of people clicking on that additional link, what I suggest you do is you change this more information to a period. And then we'll save it and go back to the record and you'll see it greatly lessens what the user sees to, to click on. So if we go back to work order tracking and pull up the record once again. And now if we put in an error and go back to it. You'll see where it used to say more information or simply a, a period and there is actually a link there but it's very hard to see and the user is less likely to, to look to actually click on it and try to go to it. You cannot remove the value altogether it won't let you do that for the more help message and also you cannot totally delete the more help message because that will give you even a, a, a longer uh, link if you do that but you can just change it to a period or a dash which will limit it and it's hardly visible. So error messages are used almost everywhere in Maximo 
And there are some areas in Maximo which you'd never expect them to be error messages, but I'll show you just a couple of them. So once again, um, when you're in Maximo, and uh, let's go over Start Center, and you see the message saying "Welcome Max Admin" or "Welcome to the wherever the user happens to be." Uh, that's the Maximo message. Also, from the Start Center screen. Almost everything on the Start Center screen, welcome to Maximo, the username text, the password text, the text inside the sign in button, most of this information in the uh, forgot password and new user registration, and even the copyright information is mostly a message. And I'll show you some of that briefly. So if we log back into Maximo, and let's go back again to messages. So once again, the system configuration, platform configuration, database configuration. And if we scroll down here and look at our messages once again. And now let's filter for the key for welcome. Just to show you a few. For example, the welcome username is the message that comes up that shows your, says welcome to Maximo or welcome and then it has a username up the top banner so if we go to that message and we can modify that for example if you wanted it to say to let the client know that you are on a production or uh, a test system you could say welcome to the, the test environment and then save your changes and that's what we'll see we'll make two changes here but let's go back and change one more thing so once again if we filter for welcome this one here welcome maximal message the default here is once again welcome to maximal but if we want to change that message we can and we can say uh, test maximal for example and save so where you'll see this now is if you're if we sign out you'll see right away that the instead of saying welcome to maximal it says welcome to test maximal that was one of the messages we changed and the other one was once you got into Maximo, you'll see that the banner now says welcome to the test environment Max Admin. So it's just a few things you can do with Maximo messages uh, where you can find them under database configuration and I hope this was helpful. Thank you.